Hi everyone. So meet a boy from Latvia, a youngest developer since uh, morning, uh, all the sessions. He is a youngest developer in our community. So I'm really excited to welcome, uh, welcome you, Alfred. And uh, now he's going to share about PWA. He's from Scandi. He is a maintainer in Scandi. So over to you, Alfred. This is Chase. Yes, thank you, Manish. Thank you. I'm Alfred, yes, as said, and uh, today I'll tell you guys a little bit more about how to modify and deploy your application, not just tell, but show. So today will be a hands-on experience, and this will be the fastest deployment and development of PWA app, which we uh, will be uh, watching today. So let's get started with uh, a little bit of my presentation, which we will immediately skip to screen sharing. So uh, how to start, how to start developing? Well, it's pretty simple. The only thing you need to type in is yarn or NPM, create, and then we type scan, sorry, uh, scan the PWA app and let's choose a name for it. Let's say MMI, so Meet Magento India. Uh, so let's wait for it to uh, be created. It shouldn't take uh, too much. So any second now it will be created and we will open it in the VS Code. While waiting, let's, uh, let's maybe understand what are we creating now. So we are creating a storefront for your Magento 2 uh, store. So uh, your Magento 2 store will be located somewhere, hosted by ReadyMage, hosted by some other company. Yeah. And uh, maybe the Nexus itself, whatever. So you're pointing your application, your storefront to your server. And um, yeah, uh, so here it is. So let's open this up. So code MMI, I'm opening it up in VS Code, my favorite editor. So here we go. It's a pretty much empty uh, folder. You can see the public folder is empty. SRC is empty. Nothing here. So why is it so? Well, that's because we are building a Scandi PWA theme. And we have this concept of themes, just like in Magento, where you start with pretty much empty folder, which inherits everything from the parent theme. In our case, that parent theme is the scan the pwa itself so we are inheriting everything from parent theme so to prove that to you i will start the application that will start the compilation and uh we will notice that the application will still work despite having nothing in src and public folder while waiting for it to compile let's install a few extensions which will come handy so let's install scan the pwa development toolkit for csa so i'm installing it and once installed we also need to come uh, to configure it a little bit. But before we do it, let's actually uh, in inspect our parent theme. So we can see here that we have Scandi PWA's dependency and our parent theme is Scandi PWA. Yes, so let's go ahead and add this folder to our workspace so we will be able to reference it while coding. So let's go to MMI, let's go to Node modules let's select scan the pwa here and let's add this folder to workspace and while we have been doing that the uh, application has compiled and here we see that's working that's a full magento app but uh, without any code in our source folder. Cool. So we have added the uh, scan the pwa here and we can immediately see that's pretty much uh, yeah that's pretty much the uh, source folder which is full. So in contrast to our theme, that's empty. And what we could, should do now is we should go ahead into preferences and find here the scan the PWA. So now we are continuing to configure our VS Code extension. So let's click here. Let's copy settings as JSON. Let's get back here. Let's paste it in. And we should now reference the node modules here. So that will be a path to our parent theme. So let's configure that. Let's save it. And now in order to test it, we just need to press Control Shift P or open up the command palette and type in scan the PWA extend source component. And what should we see here is a list of components to extend. So in our case, um, let's get back to our site and take a look. So uh, what, what, what we would like to modify. So of course, the first thing we would like to change is the logo. Yes, we could upload it in Magento admin because that's a Magento feature, but now we're building a storefront. So uh, for the sake of demonstration let's change the logo 
uh and the colors well orange is not that cool everybody uh, started from orange that's the default color in magento maybe let's switch it to something more vibrant the color of sky the blue one and also let's take a look on categories well um today uh, at this specific example they are I would say a little bit like uh, boring. So let's make it bolder. Let's make our design bold. So let's make a big category image. Let's make um, different product cards. So let's not waste time and get started. So the first thing we need to do is to extend the source component and we would like to change the logo. So in our case, we will be only changing the logo type itself. So let's select that and let's leave styles as is and do not modify the component. So uh, what we need to do is to provide a namespace and um, I'm, I'm simply saving. That's because I have this YesLint extension installed and enabled you can do the same and we can see uh we can reference the original source component now and it has some a lot of logic which is uh, about getting information from magento and optimizing for values set in the admin which we don't really care about because we will be using our own logo which we upload now so let's instead of referencing the original component and extending it let's import the pure component instead from react pure component and uh, let's extend it so we have nothing to uh, so we have nothing to um, to worry about. Yes. So let's provide the render method here. And in this render method, we will be simply rendering the image of our logo. So it should all 100% have the SRC and some alt, which I would say Alfred's uh, store. Yeah, that's um, that's the store we're building today. And I have prepared a little, a little, a little, I would say uh, where it is. Here it is. So I have a little a logo prepared so we can um, use it. Yeah, so here, oh, shit, that's not the logo. That's the colors we will be using. I'm sorry. Uh, so here is the logo. I'm copying in the logo, putting in... Um, into the logo folder so we can see it's right here and then we'll simply import it so let's write an import for our favorite logo i will show you it in just a second so let's say logo from uh logo.png so and let's use it as the source so i'm pasting in the logo saving and let's take a look uh did our page change indeed the alfred store is now appearing that's pretty cool so i like this logo i like it so i drew it uh so i like it <laughs> so what we can do now is of course change the color palette because who likes uh orange colors uh in the combination with blue almost no one so we can see we can we should change main and abstract so in order to do it we just create the same folders here so i create a style folder and i'm uh, getting in the uh, multiple files there so i'm taking the uh, main variables and abstract I'm copying them and putting them into my style folder. I would also need an abstract folder here. So let's take it, put it in, move, done. And now let's change colors. You remember I uh, accidentally copied the colors, So uh, I, I now won't be able to say I imagined them. But uh, here we go. I'll take some shades of blue, which I... Uh, manually picked before this uh, presentation. I'll save them. And let's go ahead and take a look uh, if the colors change. And indeed, now everything is blue. And that's kind of awesome. So should we stop here? Of course not, because I promised you to change something dramatically like let's completely change how this looks okay so in order to do it first let's understand what does this section actually is so we can see that's a category details cool let's copy this name let's go here and say extend another component so let's go ahead and choose category details let's say i want to change the component and let's say i want to completely overwrite styles and now uh, we can see that it's created us something. Uh, 
Uh, of course, we will change the naming a little bit because I would like to overwrite to stay like before it. And actually, let's completely remove overwrite. Let's say we don't want to build on top. We want to completely uh, like change uh, how the original um, styles were, uh, how original styles looked like. So uh, let's say import category details here. And um, I don't want to really change the logic much. So I want to keep the original logic, but uh, I would prefer uh, to have a little bit different alignment in the render here. I would like the category name to be, uh, to be separate from everything else. I would like description and name to be in different places. Um, and also, uh, yeah, of course, this will change something. Yes, that will do some change. Yeah, but that's not really what we're looking for. We're looking for something bolder. So I have prepared some styles for category details, which will uh, showcase uh, some change, which will, which will look different. And here we go. That that's, that now looks awesome. That looks different, and that's very bold. Yeah, isn't it? Uh, the girl of um, uh, the girl which is sitting right next to me said that this design looks stupid because of white outline. I disagree. That looks nice. <laughs> so uh, what should we do now? Well, we can see that the cards, uh, after switching to this bold design, the product cards now look like overcomplicated. Some buttons of compare wish list, uh, some uh, potential configurable options that's all cool that's magento features but i am the store owner which completely like i, I want uh, the names to be showcased i'm a little different i don't want images i want names to be like in the center of the attention so let's inspect which element are we going to change that's product card of course uh that's product card so let's extend it so let's choose a product card this time product card and let's say i want to change the component and i want to override styles ignore containers configuration whatever so here we go and um, let's again rename how this um, style is generated so i want uh, product card override dot style and let's copy the name uh, so we can later use it so let's use the name we just declared and let's save it. Let's fix some mi minor ESLint errors. And now let's think of what would we like to change. So let's switch to a product card component, original one. And let's scroll to some section which contains the ordering logic. So here we see render card content. So let's copy this method here. And because we're extending, we're in inheriting all the logic. But now let's remove some stuff from here. As I said, I don't want really to have any like brand information on my product card i don't want to have any visual uh, configurable options visible and i even i just want my title to be present so i'll move it out from the content section and put it up below but that's up to styling really okay uh, i did it so uh, what, what am I missing also? I want my reviews to be completely gone. So let's take reviews here, uh, render reviews. And uh, in place of reviews, let's simply return uh, null because that's valid stuff to do. So let's type in return null here. And uh, what else should we do? Let's uh, pretty much, yeah, let's now... Let's now, let's now, let's now uh, add some styles. So let's see how how did our modifications. Ah, uh, okay, sure. I did some misspelling in my product card override uh, of styles. So let's do it like so. Let's check. Uh, indeed, it's loaded. So we can see the styles now is a little bit strange. I want this to be gone. I want my actions to be gone. So how can I do it? Let's see actions render product actions and i want them um oh, lost my file let's close as everything else so i want my uh, actions to just like uh, the reviews return null so let's take a look oh indeed immediately reloaded and now i want this black chino to be or the name to be very bold to be written 
just on the image itself. And I want this to be also put onto the image. So how can I do it? Well, uh, I, I already wrote the styles for it. So uh, I will just simply paste them in. And here we go. That's, uh, that's, that's the styles I wanted to apply. And let's take a look. <laughs> wow. Once again, that's very bold. That's big black text written right over the image of products. Cool, isn't it? Cool, isn't it? Indeed, uh, it is cool. But it's it doesn't stop here. We just spent together with you guys a few, I would say, moments. Um, how much time has passed? Let's see. Um, it's hard to say. Yeah, I, I don't really know. It's 15 minutes. It's just 15 minutes. So we have a lot of time uh, to spend on application deployment. But should we spend a lot of time on application deployment? Of course not, because it's goddamn very simple. So how to do it? Well, first thing you need to get is the Scandi PWA CLI. So let's install it. I'll use Yarn. You can use NPM in your case. So I'll use Yarn Global Add. And I will add the Scandi PWA CLI. So I'm adding this candy PWA CLI and it's already added. Wow, that was fast. So I'm typing in candy PWA deploy. And what this will do is it will build our application in the production uh, mode and will deploy it to some uh, ac active URL, which you will be able to browse. And I'll leave the link in my presentation later on uh, for you to check out. So. Uh, while we're waiting for it to deploy, we can uh, pretty much, I, I will tell you just a little bit more about Scandi PWA, and then we will finish this up with Q&A if you will have some questions. So uh, the first thing I would like to say, the Scandi PWA is very powerful because it tried to replicate the Magento features. First, we got parent themes, which is unlimited. You can build on top, on top, on top, on top, and... Um, you can style it and you can do a theme for your uh, like a commerce organization agency and then use the theme for all your projects. And that would allow you to uh, save so much time upgrading and installing because we allow you to uh, extend the source classes. And that's much different from writing functional components. Yeah, that's much different because you can inherit functions. That's very useful. And we have plugins and extension system, and we plan to have completely modular Scandi PWA. And what our plugin system allows you to do, it allows you to build, um, to add functionality to pretty much, or to wrap with a plugin, just like in Magento before, after, uh, around any part of your application, any function in your application. So is it a class method? Is it a class property? Is it a simple function in your code? You can wrap it around and uh, provide some functionality and override the original behavior. And this allows you to do uh, drag and drop, or oh, I'm sorry, plug and play extensions, like for example, payment method, which you just install and it works, or um, other stuff like integrations with uh, third-party services like CMS providers and stuff. That's powerful. That's cool. And um, that's powered by Create Scandi PWA app. So I think my pretty small advertisement is over and we can head across to our Amplify app and take a look. Hopefully it will work. Of course, it didn't uh, in terms of my logo, but let's see styles. The styles are blazing, so it's uh, actually deployed. So what's wrong with my styles? Well, uh, we were uh, a little bit playing around, I would say, with uh, the deployment configuration of this um, storefront application deployment, and we broke some little minor thingies, but we'll fix it uh, very soon. So don't worry, your logos after you deploy will work. It's just me uh, not being completely prepared for this presentation. Uh, so it's fine, it's fine. Um, now let's go back to my presentation and I'll show you some links which you can follow, which you can, um, yeah, pretty much uh, use for your own purposes. So here we go. That's 
first link you can use. That's the uh, deployed site. You can browse it. There is a short link for you. It's bit.ly 3rj68eb with eb with a capital. And we have not overread, made our styles responsive. So I'm not responsible for any issues on your mobile, but I hope uh, it will still surprise you on how easy it was to develop an e-commerce storefront. That's like, it's now takes like days instead of weeks or month it's very simple and another thing you can do is you can learn more because i like to record videos in this same studio you can go ahead to a youtube channel and browse stuff there it it's 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 like it's like funny yeah it's it's very easy to learn and it allow it opens up such broad possibilities for you guys um also we have weekly releases because like magento features are endless the the original magento feature list is like 500 pages in pdf and we wrote them all we made uh, ourselves a checklist and we're going one by one completing all of them we already covered like 98% of Magento features. And most of the features uncovered are features related to layout system, which we actually don't use. So guys, Scandi PWA is the most powerful and complete Magento storefront currently available. And that's why, and we also made it, we made building it so simple. So go ahead and try it out and follow the weekly releases. There are more than 20 or 30 bucks fixed every week. And yeah, that's just, we're 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 going for this stability guys so join our slack channel i like to answer questions but i'm pretty busy these days so i have my team answering questions and uh, our community is growing we are more than multiple thousand people there i don't really remember how many and the questions are keep flowing we keep answering them and that's pretty uh, useful if you go here you have questions you ask them because we can broaden our documentation yes of course we can do and you can find our links to our documentation in our you can find links to our documentation in the uh github a repository of scandi pwa just google scandi pwa you will find all the links there and with that said i think we're finished so it took me just over one minute of uh the estimated time but i hope uh it, it's no problem so do you have any questions I'm, thank you so much yeah. for sharing this at zone and uh, the experience which you shared with everyone i think this is very helpful for all the developer and technical guys really amazing this presentation uh, i loved it Apart from that, we are having some few questions. I posted over the chat. Uh, one guy is asking, please share how to set up PWA on Windows. Yes, sure. The Create Scandi PWA app is supported on Windows. So you can do the same on your Windows machine and it should work. And if it doesn't, today and yesterday, the man from our uh, core team is sitting and uh, debugging it on Windows because Windows is not as common in our company, but we try to keep it supported because of newcomers and people. So of course it's, it, it, it is supported. If it doesn't work, go ahead and fire the issue on GitHub for us. So we'll fix it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Next question is what is the best way to get a store with Scandi PWA? Uh, could you please repeat the first uh, sentence? What is, what the, is best? the best way to get a store with Scandi PWA? To get installed? A store, a store, not a, ah, a store. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. The best way to get a store, like in case you want to start just like me very quickly, but get the access to Magento admin is to go ahead and try um, like instant deployment um, providers like ReadyMage. You can get uh, an instance in five minutes with ReadyMage and it's, it's, it's very cheap there, I believe. So, uh, and then you can uh, point your, uh, and the ReadyMage comes specifically with uh, Scandi PWA pre installed so you don't need to do nothing or you can take your own server on nexus whatever you can uh install this kind of pwa there follow the official guide and you can have your storefront separately and uh, magento separately or you can install Scandi PWA as a Magento theme because we support both ways you can be a theme you can be a storefront it's up to you yeah that's yes. That's thanks, okay. thanks, Alfred. I think uh, one of your team member is asking the funny question. Is there an easy way to set up Scandi PWA with Magento 2 so I can also develop Magento? I think it's Ronald's. 
Oh yes, uh, of course. Yeah. yeah, maybe maybe that's a team. Member. Yeah, I believe he is. So uh, the thing is, uh, yes, of course you can do. Of course you can install. Uh, and there's like so Scandi PWA itself. What we just tried, we tried uh, setting up with Create Scandi PWA app. So Create Scandi PWA app is basically uh, a way to uh, to depl- to like work with a storefront. Yeah, in a storefront mode. But uh, we 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 got it further. So years ago like two years ago we started working with docker setup for magento and it was kind of very tricky because people from community came without knowledge of docker without really understanding what's going on and always failed to install the magento on their local and it's pain till this day but uh we got around that by introducing the create magento app that's a utility which allows you to deploy magento app on your local in matter of seconds, and it works just good on Mac and on uh, Linux. This means that we are el- we eliminated this big issue with uh, the Docker sync and Docker volume syncs. So try it out. The Create Magento app is a very powerful tool for deploying your Magento applications on your local. It's um, yeah, it's a combination. It's a hybrid deployment, if you know what this means. So we run our services in Docker, and we run. Uh, the Magento on your uh, local machine. So using the PHP on your local machine and we are versionizing the PHP. So it's very interesting stuff. Just try it out if you have time and you will be amazed how simple it became to install Magento. But that's a little bit separate from Scandi PWA. But yeah, sure. Thanks, Sorry. Thanks Alfred uh, for explaining this. Yes, uh, we are running out of time now, but uh, we're having so many other questions with guys. Please uh, connect with the uh, Alfred offline on a social media, LinkedIn, Twitter, and uh, get your answers there. Thank you so much for Alfred sharing your knowledge. See Thank you. you. Thank you guys for being here. I will try to answer the questions uh, in this chat. Yeah. So All right. bye-bye. Thank you guys.